Hi guys, Eli here with Ancestral Recall. And um, sorry, I'm a, look a bit of a wreck. It's been a long, hot, sweaty day here in uh, the place where I am on vacation, which is Nagoya, Japan. Yeah, I'm back in my old stomping grounds. I'm going to shoot some videos telling you guys about some of the places I've been and the places I've lived. So anyway, but in the meantime, I've got six packs here of Eternal Masters. And not just any old packs, mind you, Japanese packs. So, I am curious what's going to be in here. Uh, I am going to be drafting this tomorrow night. Uh, unfortunately, I went to a seal event on Sunday that did not fire, so I was kind of bummed out about that. But anyway, I am kind of curious to see what I get here. So, uh, don't know how these packs are oriented. Uh, looks like commons up front. Uh, I'm just going to skip ahead to the uncommons. So, we've got... Merfolk Luther, according to LSV, you should generally loot. It's like uh, Cabal Therapy. Or is this anime dead? Yeah, no, this is Cabal Therapy. Sweet. Nice Japanese printing. All right. We got Wee Dragonauts. They're Wee, but they pack a clever punch. Sorry, that was incredibly lame. Okay, we've got... Sensei's Divining Top. Oh, Dreidel, Dreidel, Dreidel. You don't look like a Dreidel anymore. You don't look like a Beyblade anymore. You're kind of, well, it's a nice card. <laughs> nice Japanese top. Pretty sweet. And our foil is Tragic Slip. So, okay, that's one pack. I'm pretty happy with Sensei's Divining Top. I've got a bunch of them, but let's see what we got in the next pack. So, like, yeah, I'm just going to jump ahead to the uncommons. And then at the end, I'll go over it and talk about... I'll, I'll, you know, I don't want to bore you guys, so I'll just get right to the uncommons. But maybe I'll go back and check out the commons. So we've got Factor Fiction. Good little foff. This is Gitu Slinger, if I recall. Yeah, man, I used to play a ton of this back in uh, Arena League. Wall of Omens. Nice, nice. Very good uncommon. And... Is this Isochron Scepter? This is Isochron Scepter! Whatever. That's annoying. And... Uh, Wildfire Efreet? I know it's from Mirage. Uh, it's the 2-4 Fire Breathing pro-white guy. Alright. That pack... This is a bust, but eh, that's okay. Um... I'm going to keep these together and put together a seal pool with this and take it back to Sabi so people can test it out and see what they think would be a fun thing to do with it. Because I like to have a lot of seal pools. Honed in of Infinite Rage? Uh, I have no idea what this is. It is a... Is this the Cascade? No, I don't think this is Cascade. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you can tell I've really studied this set. Uh, we got the War Priest guy, the guy who destroys enchantments when he hits the battlefield, and oh, Inkwell Leviathan. I have like a jillion of these. Well, okay, well. And our foil is White Mane Lion. Blinky Blinky. Okay, cool. Yeah, so these were. 1,600 yen a pop, which works out to about 14 or 15 bucks. And I just want to open this up on camera for you guys to see. Um, you know, it's an interesting set. I will definitely say that. Um, jumping to the uncommons. Another Honden of Infinite Rage. I was playing some cube earlier today, and my opponent got this out. Didn't quite work out for him. Got Brawn. Brawn? Yeah. The what it's the incarnation when it dies, your guys get trample. We got um, this is the elf which gives guys minus one, minus one, but you have to discard an elf to activate it. It's a good thing this is an uncommon because in Lorwyn, just as a rare, blech. whoops. And ooh, Nihongban Belfu Strix. Yeah, Belfu Strix, a pretty sweet card. Um, goes in a lot of the decks and uh. The reason it got printed is because it was in part of a deck about ninja, and this is a great kite. It's a thing that 
attacks, doesn't block, or doesn't get blocked, because who wants to block a Death Toucher? And uh, what's this? Um, oh, this makes a 5-5. Five five. This makes a 5-5 five five that blocks. Okay. Yeah. All right. Two more packs left. Let's see if something cool happens. I wonder if you guys can get Japanese Modern Masters product. Yeah, Modern Masters. Eternal Masters product. If you guys can get that in Europe or in the States, I'm very curious to know. And of course, there's also the Chinese. All right. We got glimmer, glimmer. The it's the elk that blinks things. Blink one eighty two. We got um, is this flame jab? The yeah yeah yeah. This is the recursive uh, or sorry retracing ping spell. Yeah. Uh, victimize I think. Yeah, it's a reanimation spell. Ugh, ugly art. And Nivinerals disc. If you're curious as to how to pronounce it, you could say Larry Nivens, or but you want to say it backwards, so Nivens rolls. And our foil is Faithless Luthing. Man, part of my favorite standard deck of all time. <laughs> this is this is a cool foil to have. I'm not complaining about it. All right, one more pack. Let's see what happens. I'm staying in an apartment in the same building as the building where I used to live. So I'm actually very familiar with the neighborhood and where all the good restaurants are and so forth. All right, we got Blood Brave Elf. Uh, the Mindless Automaton. You discard things to make it bigger and you can take counters off it to draw stuff. Phyrexian Ingester. Ooh, om nom nom. And Heritage Druid. I've heard these are like 15 or 17 bucks now. I've got like five or six of them back home in one of my boxes. I just usually sit on them commons. I'm super lazy about it. All right. Well, that was kind of a busto. Six packs. But let's see what our last foil is. Uh, oh, Necrotal. All right. So lesson of, you know, moral of this story is, you know, go out and buy the singles. I feel like that's generally a sound strategy in most situations, but I want to open a couple packs to uh, celebrate my trip in Japan, because that's probably the easiest place to get this, and not that these are easy to get. And yeah, I went out and bought myself a Japanese foil mana crypt, because, you know, I didn't anticipate opening a lot of packs, so I just said, screw it, I didn't want to get, you know, the sweetest foil in the set, other than the Force of Will. I mean, yeah, the Force of Will looks, I mean, I'm sure it's amazing. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.